Yo, what up, it's Don. Sam and me here. We are the Soul Brothers and we're in our uniforms today. All right, spy versus spy, black and white, yin and yang. Boom. You know how we get down. I don't know, when are we putting this video up? Merch might already be up. Maybe. If it is, there's a link. If, if it's not up yet, then there won't be a link. Just obviously. saying, guys, it's super duper limited right now. We have yeah. like no stock right now. It's just like a test run. Yeah, so, so we'll see how it goes, you know what I mean? We we'll might do see. a big run. We might do one if it goes well the first run, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But anyways, um, a lot of you guys were asking, uh, actually a lot, a lot of you guys are asking about the Harley materials, what colorway you should get. Adidas does this a lot, you know, with their um, colorways. Whatever colorway you get, they use a different material. Every single shoe is like that for Adidas. Dealer 2s, you know. Um, but anyways. It sounds so much more comp you know complicated to do that for yeah. them why why uh, do they do that yeah i don't know i'm not sure why they do that but uh yeah just completely uh maybe you like uh, one colorway but then it uses shittier materials or something like mm -hmm. that i don't know why they do that but anyways um so i have this is the first one that i got this is the uh i would be a star exactly and then this is the pioneer shout out to connie livingston by the way for this locker room sports and yep. then we have the pioneer colorway and then donnie boy i have the pioneer colorway and i also just picked up the xenos yes okay so this is one of sam's favorite shoes right now yes okay so i got the pioneers and i just i didn't like them okay one of the main reasons was the heel slippage i have uh and you know, it's very, very frustrating. If I have a good amount of heel slippage, it's pretty much a deal breaker for me. For everyone, I think. For everyone. I mean, I don't know who would want to play like that, you know? Exactly. Um, you know, and I'm not talking a little bit of heel slippage. I'm talking about, like, I could literally, I could just step on the back of my heel and just pull my foot out. Yeah. After cranking the laces down. Okay, so, um, but you know what? I said, you know what? I'm going to cop a pair of the Xenos. I want to try them out. There's a softer material in no, the toe. No, no, no. It's because the color it's because the color <laughs> but it's not all black dude yeah but it's like a lot of people really like them you know it's not it's not all black it's not all black of course but... um a, a lot of people really like them so yeah. i wanted to give them a fair shot so i got another colorway i don't even know why i just um i guess it's just such a big shoe that i really want to you know try it out um even though I, I do have the pioneers and they just weren't really working out for me um so i put this on it's a whole different shoe and you got the same exact size same size Different shoe. Wait, you went what? 13? 13. Uh -huh. 13. Okay. So I got a real narrow foot, so I was able to go a whole size down. If you got kind of a normal foot, you more probably want to go a half size down. Um, either way, you're going to want to go down a little bit. But I went same size, you know, I went 13, which is the lowest I'll ever go in a shoe. And to have heel slippage when I go a full size down is nuts. That's, that's crazy. So um, heel slippage totally gone. I mean, I could, I could feel it like a little bit if I really pull on it. But like really nothing to speak of. Like if you would have, if I would have just bought this colorway and you would have told me this shoe had heel, had heel slippage, I would have told you you're crazy. Yeah, that's stupid. I would have told you, you don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Exactly. So it's just so bizarre, man. It's weird um, uh, colorways. I maybe it might be the materials here. Uh, the leather is a little thicker and it doesn't allow for the shoe to bend as much as this material. I guess yeah. I'm not sure. We're actually uh, we have absolutely no idea why. It's like that. This material is way softer. Another thing I didn't like about my Pioneers that is, leather. is this leather here. And I know it, it breaks in, but it was just crinkling out the gate, like popping, pop, pop, pop. You know, very, very stiff. I, I'm not into that. I'm not really into stiff shoes anymore. I'm, I just, I don't think they're necessary. Yeah. Just do mine with <laughs> these suckers. 17.88. 17. 17. That's, that's okay. That's like that's medium. Bad. Yeah. Right. Um, but, you know, I still... Uh, it's still a little bit, um, it doesn't feel like the most minimal shoe, which is okay, which is which is okay. But I was kind of hoping that that's what it was gonna be, very, very minimal, like a Kobe 11 EM. But um, it's still really, really, really good. It's way better. I mean, this shoe is gonna be in my rotation for sure. This, um, this I've already played in it and it's yeah. just, it, it, it's awesome. This material is like way thin too. Way like thin. A, it's like half, or like a full a quarter the thickness of the leather and the suede is actually not bad so um but the know. main the other main main thing is it's stretchy yeah it's literally like almost like elastic spandex spandex it fully stretches which is just awesome i mean 
uh, I haven't tried the Amabia Stars, but I would hands down recommend this over the Pioneers. Yes. Just based off materials. Um, hands down. Now, this that, isn't prime knit. This is just that felt kind of jackered material. Which is good. Which I'm not mad at. Yeah. You know, it's a ton of support in the material. It's pretty light, pretty thin, and it does get pretty soft. But it's just interesting, man. I'm glad I got another pair of these. Yeah. Because they weren't even in my rotation. I was just... I was so pissed off with the hardness, with the pioneers. And, and some people on Instagram, uh, follow us on Instagram if you're not, were talking about in the comments that they had the same problem. Yeah. You know, and that they got this this Zeno colorway and they, the heel slippage was gone. So, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Very interesting. Um, so yeah, uh, leather is outdated. Um, it's a nice touch. For sure. It's for like old school, I guess, but like it is outdated. For so. sure. Uh, maybe they'll come out, yeah, they'll definitely come out with more colorways and there's, there was like a white, gold, black one or something mm -hmm. and then Connor uh, actually sent us a picture and he said it's the exact same material as this, you know, colorway so That's look forward to that. That's a dope colorway too. Exactly. That Even cool. doper than this because this is dope but it's like, I I'm not a big fan of, of this like brownish looking. Yeah. Because it's like a semi-translucent because they want you to be able to see the boost. Yeah. But it just doesn't look great. And it's just not a full blackout, but this Zeno touch is nice. Yeah. This uh, iridescent uh, three stripes. Exactly. Um, but yeah, uh, I love the colorway, I love the look, and now I actually like the way it performs. Yeah, so that's it. That's the comparison video. A lot of you guys have been asking, so hope we helped you guys out. And uh, please, no more questions on the materials anymore. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you ask us in on the DMs about the materials, I'm going to be like, go watch the video. Or I'm going to be like, I'm just... Not gonna answer it because yeah. I, you know you obviously don't watch the video. Or we'll hunt you down, <laughs> find your address, and mail a bag of shit to your house. Exactly. No, we're just kidding. But anyways, um, hope he helped you guys out. We'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Peace.